Hello and thank you for watching this introductory video. My name is Andrew McCoy and I am the director of the Virginia Center for Housing Research, associate director of the Myers Lawson School of Construction, and associate professor in the Department of Building Construction at Virginia Tech. I have two children, ages three and eight, named Maggie and Bella, and my wife is Elise. When I am not with my family, I am teaching and learning about the construction industry. Construction is an exciting industry, and especially right now. It is quickly growing, and new technologies are changing the way we work. Robotics, drones, virtual environments, smart technologies, material engineering, global positioning, and the list keeps going. I have been lucky to work on cutting-edge projects across the world. This is a high-rise in China, built very quickly through off-site construction techniques. And this is the Chesapeake Bay Foundation's Brock Environmental Center, which students and I worked on with Horrigan Construction. This building is one of the first in the country and world to receive Living Building Challenge and LEED 4.0 Platinum Certification. The technology and processes used in this building are the future. At Virginia Tech and in construction courses, we prepare you for the technology of today and the future while also being excellent at the built business of the built environment. But before I get too far into the industry, let me tell you a little bit about myself and my path. When I left high school, I thought the two paths in higher education to construction were as an architect or an engineer. I was wrong, but at that time, I decided to train to become an architect. I discovered that what I really loved about buildings was the story of how they were built, not as much the design behind them. The complex process, the daily work of people, intrigued me, and I also majored in architectural history. UVA taught me that we are students for life. It was just the beginning of my education from a lifetime. It is still my core philosophy today. Once out of college, I could draw buildings but did not know how to put them together. I went to work for a concrete contracting company, and the work was thrilling, like drinking through a fire hose. Every day I learned more about proper craft and the industry. Over time, my skills grew and I was able to work up the organization. I was exposed to many sides of the industry, but also importantly to many sides of the business. While there, I met a mentor who still guides me to this day. Remember that mentors are a very important part of your career and can help you immensely. Pretty soon though, I realized I was becoming specialized in one area of the industry and I needed to know more about the basics of all building projects. I also figured out that I am a hands-on learner. I left the contracting company and became a laborer on a crew building houses as a result. Luckily, the type of home building we did was wide-ranging and I was again exposed to many types of construction. We built additions, renovations, and new homes. This image here is a timber frame home in central Virginia. I was learning every side of the business as well and slowly started bringing in my design abilities and working my way up in the company. Eventually, the owner asked if I would like to buy him out and manage the business, and he would work for me. I decided to rename the business, hired two architects in-house, and grew the business to eight full-time employees. As a business owner, I now needed to know a little bit about everything, accounting, legal, finance, codes, engineering, people skills, and still be good at construction. Again, it was a great time to educate myself every day. The company continued to do well, and we started designing and building commercial projects. This image is a restaurant in downtown Charlottesville, and you can see our process of gutting a building and what it became. I could see that the boom in construction would not necessarily last, and I sold the business and went back to school for a master's degree in construction science and management at Virginia Tech. At that time, my plan was to work for a large construction company. While in school, I realized that my enjoyment of learning and construction could be a career path in teaching as well. After I finished my master's and PhD, the Department of Building Construction was also looking to hire a faculty member, and I was hired. As a faculty member, I have taught principles of construction science and management and developed the integrated lab courses, where we combine students across many years of the curriculum and teach them pre-construction process for many divisions of work and team-based leadership skills. It is also important to help locally. Here are two projects that highlight my outreach work with students, the local farmer's market mobile kitchen 
and Habitat for Humanity. Virginia Tech students truly live their motto, Ut Prosum, that I may serve. One project, the Soul Decathlon, was a mix of outreach and research. On the Soul Decathlon, I was one of eight faculty who guided a student-led design and construction project of a highly innovative, energy-efficient home. We competed in 2009 and 2010 and won the World Championship in Madrid with this house. Most of my research, though, has been through my position as director of the Virginia Center for Housing Research. We are the Housing Research Center for the state of Virginia, where we serve the state and build off of those services with research that helps our nation and industry at large. We are currently tackling national and international research on housing affordability, residential data development and building innovation, and residential sustainability. Through our research at the center, we sponsor the education of five to six students per year. Students are the reason we are here, and we are successful because of them. And on a final note, I also enjoy taking pictures on my many travels. There is nothing quite like wandering a foreign city early in the morning and discovering all of the colors, smells, and sounds it offers. Looking back, my career path has been winding. It has taken me from one side of this industry to another and taught me a lot along the way. Central to this path has always been construction, though. I am not sure if you will pick construction, pick a similar path, or decide to move around as much as I did. I am sure that taking advantage of every moment to learn and grow is worth it. I would enjoy learning from you as well. My office door is open.